Hi, it's Jean from justaskjean.co.uk and today we're going to be talking about using affiliate links. These are very popular at the moment because people want to um, use affiliate links to get extra income on their website. They're writing about stuff and content, so therefore they want to be able to link through to things that are useful to them and recommend them to their friends and thereby get an affiliate income. Um, but it can be a bit confusing, so let's just have a look what we're going to do today. So by the end of this video, you'll understand the structure of an affiliate code. You'll be able to modify the code to suit your content and your site. You'll also be able to use affiliate links in any website, but today I'm just going to focus, because of time, on using any WordPress site. But the principles still apply to any site. Okay, so let's go straight ahead and have a look at a typical affiliate code. This is one I've got from Amazon for a book that I want to recommend. And at first sight, it looks rather daunting. You've got all this stuff here between these um, sort of smaller than and greater than arrows. And it can be a bit confusing. But if I took all of that and pasted that in to my site, into the HTML of my site, which I'm going to do in a second, you would see that we'd get this link here. And if I click on that link, in fact, if I hover over it, you can probably see there that I'm getting a very long link. If I click on it, it will take us out to Amazon. There we go. And if I were to buy it and it wasn't my affiliate link, then I would get the income from it. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of that now because we don't need that. What I'm going to do now is to put that same information into my WordPress site just to prove to you that that's, that's what happens and that's what we get. So probably aware of this already but I'm going to highlight all of this and then I'm going to right click on the mouse and copy and then what I'm going to do is take it into my new post now what I've got at the moment is an image of the book and I'm going to show you how to link to the image in a second but for now I want some text there so all I'm going to do is ignore all that HTML sorry I did leap a bit there but for this we do need to be into that HTML tag HTML tab, sorry, of the um, editing window. And I'm just going to give myself a little bit of space by hitting enter so the cursor drops down a little bit and then I'm going to right click again and I'm going to paste. And if we flip back into the visual we can see what effect that's had. And just on the PowerPoint, just as on the PowerPoint, we've got that link there. Now we might not want those words. That's what Amazon suggests, we might not want them. So how do we change that? OK, go back into the HTML. And here's our link right down at the bottom here. But can you see there, winning new business essential skills for non-salespeople. So I'm going to change that. And I'm just going to put it... Oops. Great book on sales for non-sales people. And if we have a look at the effect, there we go, the text has changed. Now obviously I can put any text I, around, I want around there. I found this, ooh, it's doing that all this. That's not so good. Okay, I just paused the video there for a second while I type that in to save a little bit of time. So you can put whatever text you want around there. Now the other thing that people want to do is to link an image. So if I click on the image there, we get the um, little picture icon there. I click on edit image. And we've got link URL to put in there. Now we can't put all of the text that we've just pasted. We need to find the particular URL. So I'm just going to pop back into PowerPoint so we can have a look at that. And the bit we are looking for is this little bit here between the double speech marks. So we're starting HTTP all the way down, finally the speech marks, and then just come back, right click, copy, pop back into our post, right click, paste. Don't forget we need to update that. And then when somebody clicks on that, let's just publish it. And this is what the post looks like now I've drawn all of that. Click on the link, takes me to the right place, click on that link there. Hope that's been useful. Thanks.